All right. So, Dutch, um, uh, I, I'm actually going to play this promo for you, and you let me know if you can hear it or not. But there was an infamous promo back in Smokey where Robert Fuller uh, mentioned he had problems with the IRS and his women giving him trouble, but he wasn't going to do the Von Erich thing. And I kind of want to get your thoughts about that. I want to know if you knew it was coming. I want to know, uh, and I think I know the answer, but I want to know that. And I just want to know your overall thoughts on this. Here, I'm going to play it for you. You should be able to hear the audio as it comes through right now. Stay with a quality in East. All right, fans, with us right now, the stud stable. What about the blue glass brawl? Little fellas, let me tell you something. Stay out of my face and hold the microphone up high, because stud's going to tell you, I got 15 women running around on me, IRS up my rear end, son. I got all kinds of problems, but I'm going to guarantee you, son, I ain't going to do the Von Erich thing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? No, I'm not, because I found out now that we got the match we've been waiting on. This is the one that puts everything. Now, Dutch, you didn't look surprised when he hit that line. And we know back then stuff wasn't, uh, you know, scripted out. That was just Robert Fuller in all of his glory because he used to cut great promos. Uh, Dutch, what do you remember about that moment in Smoky Mountain? That was actually episode 59 from March 13th of 1993. Hey, when Robert did an interview, he didn't practice interviews. He says what he says at the moment. They could have warned him to say something else, but he just, you know, we didn't have scripted promos. They did. We didn't have a writer handing us a piece of paper. All right, talk about this. That's what made the promos good. That was vintage Robert. Uh, what I would have, and I heard what he said, but I mean, I mean, I, I think it was in bad taste. And I thought maybe Jimmy would have edited that out, but he didn't. So, but I heard that promo the same time everybody else heard it i mean for the first time and it is what it is and i think that's one thing it made smoky mountain uh as good as it was because it was just whatever was there you got to see it warts and all so and yeah i was kind of like i said he was in bad taste to do that but but robert run by it so fast and i think jimmy kind of noticed it too but and then when we went in the back, nobody ever said nothing. And it was just business as usual. It, it, was, it was something. I, I As we reviewed that episode, um, that was the episode where Arn made his debut, too, in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, which was uh, crazy at that. But um, Jimmy Golden looked up like, oh, no, don't do that. And then, honestly, you, you, you just played it cool like you would normally do on any other promo. You kind of like, oh, you, you raised your eyebrow and hit a little, but... But um, it was something else. I, I will say this. Uh, Robert Fuller was something else when it came to his promos, and we loved his promos, not not only in Smokey, but everywhere else. So uh, I, I knew you knew it wasn't coming. I knew it wasn't scripted. I've actually heard Cornette talk about this promo, too. Uh, it was something else, though, uh, back in the day. So, um, well, what did, ahead, <clears throat> what did Cornette say about it? Did he, uh, did he think about trying to edit it out? I don't. Re- I, 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 he didn't think about editing out, if I remember correctly, when he talked about it on his show. But he did say, you know, I asked him the same question. Did you know it was coming? Obviously, I knew the answer to it. Um, uh, he he didn't know it was coming. He just said, you know, that was he was just one of those things. You know, I kind of told Robert, gave him, gave him, gave him a bullet point and say, hey, you know, kind of work this into your promo. And and he said Fuller went out there and just just you know just did, did his thing i mean that's what robert fuller would do i mean if you watch any of his promos back in the day so uh jimmy did not know it was coming Cornette, that is uh, golden i don't think knew it was coming either although i've never asked him that just like you said you didn't know it was coming i'm sure bob coddle didn't either but Cornette did not know it was coming and and um i want to say when Cornette answered the question on his show you know, said, you know who did you know who you know who else didn't know it was coming robert no robert he just said it i, I swear to god i guarantee you he said it on the spur of the moment that's what he said. And he didn't even, I bet he, he didn't even think at all before he went out there of saying that. But it came out that way. Well, and, and that was Robert. And he was trying, the, 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 the spirit of the promo was, you know, he was, he was complaining about the problems that, you know, you all had had right at that moment with the heavenly bodies and the rock and roll. And the spirit of the promo was he was saying, like, you know, the IRS is on my rear end. My, my my women are on my rear end. But with all that said and all those problems, I'm not going to 
you know, commit suicide. And it's probably, it is a tasteless joke. I mean, obviously, look, we're in 2020 now, man. It, you, you do this nowadays. Lord knows what kind of pitchforks you'd have coming after you. But the point is like, that's the emphasis he was trying to make. And to your point, I think he had, he didn't know he was going to say it until it came out at that moment. Yep. Well, he didn't know it. So, <laughs> yeah. 